Ooh. Ah, that's a good French mistake. I'm totally gonna tweet this one. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 15 of Supernatural Season 6, The French Mistake, and this is regarded as one of the highest rated episodes of all time because it does dip into that meta universe to the point where they are literally making fun of themselves. Hey man, Ben Lesky. Oh, uh, Lucky. What? Lucky. I'm pretty sure. And when you do it right, Meta humor, self-actualization humor, self-realization humor can be done very, very well. I am really surprised at just out of the blue this episode is. You really punked me! Considering the very much lacking overall direction that this season has, this episode feels like it was a desperate kind of pull to try and get people back in. In this episode, Sam and Dean find themselves in an alternate universe thanks to the Balthazar. It is their show, uh, the show of their lives essentially. And this was actually pretty funny to watch because for those of you who have been watching my episode reviews, especially for season five, you should recognize a set that they're on. That's the Watchmen set that they're on. That's where they did the end. That's where they did the mid-season finale of season five. That's the street that Supernatural used for years over and over and over again. A fake street uh, that is now gone, unfortunately. The humor in this episode is top notch. The what? I mean, is this some kind of cosmic joke? Yeah, because if it is, it's stupid and we don't get it. <laughs> Apparently, even before they started to really put the episode together, they actually brought Jared and Jensen down to out Los Angeles to the writing room, which was apparently never really done before. They were even surprised by it. They wanted to ask them, hey, we have this episode idea, but you guys need to totally make fun of yourselves. Apparently Jensen had one kind of clause as that as long as he never broke character of Dean, that was fine. It works totally in the episode's favor, especially when they have to act. There's a key. And there must there still be a lock. God. It made me laugh my guts up when I watched it all those years ago, and it made me laugh even more now. It's because we have no other choice. This episode's humor, its meta-ness, its constant referrals to elements of the show, both the actual show itself and the people who make it when they're driving in the car with Cliff. That was their actual bodyguard. When they make a comment about how they're living with each other, they both were living in the same house in Vancouver when they were shooting the show before they both got married. There's a lot of bit of personal information here and there throughout the episode. Apparently, all of the tweets that Misha does, he was doing those on the spot. Really starting to feel like one of the guys. Misha asked to be a little bit more of a dick than in the episode uh, when he pushes aside the makeup artist or when he's giving the cold shoulder to the PA. Night, little fella. However, much like changing channels, while the humor is very, very funny, while the jokes are just nonstop and they're fresh, they're fan freaking tastic this episode has barely any story factor. Now, when you compare it to the overall scope of the season, that's not exactly a takeaway, considering the season itself barely has any story elements going on. The whole random, hey, Balthazar is having to hide you because Raphael wants all the weapons that Balthazar has. And Raphael's coming for you, just like the Godfather movies. We're not really going to explain how he has that ability and why he's doing it. He's coming just the same as any other time, especially with how the episode ends, essentially it's the same thing, he just got a body again. But that's it, that's my only issue I have with this episode, is that it just doesn't have a very strong story element, and even when it tries to, it's still very generic. To the point where they literally have to rip off the Terminator. Virgil's essentially the Terminator in this episode. There is one character though, that I kind of wish that they talked about more. And now I might be wrong. Some people I believe think this is Balthazar, but I thought that Balthazar was away. There's a guy in the episode, the one with the accent who keeps on talking about everything's going wrong. When Virgil comes in and starts shooting everyone, everyone's dying left and right. But this dude is just dodging bullets like this all nonchalant and just, just walks off. Who the fuck was that guy? Like I said, some people I think I've said this is Balthazar, 
but I didn't think he was in the world with them. And it doesn't really explain it at the end of the episode either. So if anyone has any theories or any kind of confirmation about who this guy was, please give it to me because what the fuck? But either way, French Mistake is still an iconic episode. I feel that it's a bit overrated when it's considered one of the best episodes. While going through trivia, it's rated the second best episode of the show by EW with only Swan Song above it. Is it a classic top 10 episode of Supernatural? I could say that, but is it the second best? No! Granted, it's probably one of the funniest episodes of the show that was ever written. Actual self-awareness of this episode is top fucking notch. The part where they say, who even wants to watch our show? Who would even be interested in that? Well, apparently, according to the ratings, not that many people. Boom! That's such a good meta joke because the show was crumbling at this point. They were actually doing quite bad in terms of ratings. Season 6. Who wrote this? Nobody says penultimate. Even when they get fake Kripke to come and get killed. I actually thought that was the actual Kripke. I had never actually seen a photo of what Eric Kripke looked like. But then afterwards I looked and I was like, oh, it's not him, it's just an actor. Everyone is an actor of an actor in this episode. Even the voice who I thought was Sarah Gamble, that's not her either. That's a, just some random actress. But in the end, I still am going to give this episode a very generous seven out of seven it does still do story elements despite my complaints but it is by far the funniest fucking episode of this season it's one of the funniest of the episodes that the show ever did and i think it does stand higher than that of changing channels changing channels established the ideas that french mistake was able to give them but French Mistake's just a little bit higher than it. But those are my thoughts about this episode. Now let's see what you guys had to say. I imagine you had a little bit to say. I still think this episode is one of the most clever premises in the entire series. Jared and Jensen are playing Sam and Dean, playing Jared and Jensen, playing Sam and Dean. The French Mistake has a huge amount of Easter eggs with the production team of Supernatural that I would tirelessly bore others pointing them out. On the Blu-ray slash DVD, there are even extended moments of this French Mistake that are absolutely hilarious. I still consider it the funniest meta episode we've ever had in the entire show. The way it ties in with the angelic civil war was pretty interesting, let alone it's an interesting touch for them to be able to travel to an alternate reality that is technically our world and that it took a spell from an angel to get there. Whereas season 13, we needed an entirely different spell to go to an entirely different reality to save Jack and their mom. I, I do agree with you, this is the funniest meta episode they ever did. Uh, as I said in the review, this episode took what made Changing Channel so good and it actually really made it whole in that real life that actual physical media of uh, medium of it being based on the how the show is actually made is exactly what makes this so fun. I think this season is remembered by fans the most for the Cell with Sam arc and then for specific episodes, but The French Mistake is an exception. This is a personal favorite of mine and I believe the season's best contribution to the series. I think it was a good choice for the show to touch on an alternate reality concept for one story without committing it to it full force like they did in season 13. The show and the fans were not ready for that. As they say, sometimes less is more. 100% agree. The reason that Eric Kripke himself isn't gunned down by the actual show is because apparently he cannot act to save his life. He said in an interview, so they had someone else play him. I love the guest actor's brief act, him being taken out by Virgil as a highlight. I actually kind of wondered that part too. Like When I found out it wasn't him, I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Jeremy, what do you think of Cass having the end to the war in heaven in his hands with a weapon in his possession, yet letting Raphael go? I was confused later when it was brought up again, and I thought that the end of the storyline from her first viewing admittedly the civil war is something that they really should have focused on i think that actually would have been a much cooler storyline because you already had soulless sam you already had the angelic war then you have the mother of all storyline i feel that even though the civil war is probably the better story they thought that maybe because that would have just been like season four and season five all over again but a little bit more like more focused and i think less broad angel versus angel that 
They thought they needed monsters too. I kind of wish I'd seen more of it. The French Mistake is such a great episode. I absolutely love it. I would miss very much Ben Edlund's p pitches for weird but really awesome ed episodes. The meta humor is firing on all cylinders. Bringing back Jen for this episode was super awesome too. A couple of highlights that come to mind for me is the boys thinking they found Cass just to realize that it's Misha going over the lines and actually posting to Twitter. And when Sam is sitting at the computer with a picture of Jared with a cowboy hat riding on in the background and getting chuckle out of me every time. Yes, that gets me. That I was laughing at that bit too. This has got to be up there in the top five of this season, if not the top three. Buddy, it is definitely in the top three. Not much I can say about The French Mistake that hasn't already been said. It's a great episode. The scene where the director is talking about freeze frame, then cut to black, and then they clearly making light of how silly and cliche it would be. However, in season 13 uh, finale, they did just that. Oh, were the memes that came out after that one. Actually, yeah, thinking about it now, I, I, they did, did they do that? I, I can't even remember season 13. One other thing comparing this episode to some of the latter season episodes, with the whole alternate universe cliche crap they had, there was one where they had two annoying hipster versions of J- Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I was hoping it would have been the Jared and Jensen for this universe, where they would have been an awesome callback and would explain how what happened to Jared and Jensen while Sam and Dean were in their universe. Yeah, that actually would have been fun to see. Yeah, I, I was looking forward to that, and that, that episode dropped that ball so hard. The French Mistake is my second favorite episode of the entire series, slightly beating Changing Channels just because I prefer the meta humor to the physical humor. I agree. Where do I even begin with this one? The fact that alone that Jared and Jensen are playing themselves while playing Sam and Dean is hilarious enough, but then the episode continues and I wasn't prepared for it from Misha's tweets to Geneve playing herself to literally gunning down the creator himself, kind of symbolizing how stroners like Sarah Gamble and Andrew Dabb felt about his vision. <laughs> Everything about this episode is just so goddamn funny, but the best part hands down is Sam and Dean trying to act. Yep. Uh, couldn't stop laughing every time Robert Singer yelled, Cut! I had said many times that season six in Sarah Gamble's direction and said many things about it, but this episode, it's episodes like these that make me appreciate all the more her era. At least she was better than Andrew Dabb, who apparently used this episode to justify parallel dimensions, plot, and just jumping the C S supernatural into the DCEU. That still doesn't negate how great this episode is. Yeah, I do like this. Like, I, The acting bit is probably the part that makes me almost in tears. I remember watching that with my dad and we were bawling. We were just laughing so hard. The French Mistake is a funny episode. I love it when they try to act and Sam Dean can act. All oh, the director getting a cameo was pretty cool. When Misha Collins appears and he's tweeting out about hanging out with them, that makes me laugh. Very funny episode. One of those what the fuck episodes. You've something called, you're something called Jensen Ackles and I'm called a Jared Padalecki? Yep, no, all good. French Mistake is a great episode this season and one of the best in the series. It was interesting seeing Sam and Dean in an alternate world where they find out that their lives are a television show. I was surprised to see Geneve uh, appear uh, in this episode. I also was surprised that the angel that was after them couldn't use his powers in the alternate world. It was funny seeing Misha play a different version of himself. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like the new version of Raphael. The actress who plays him just doesn't have the same gravitas as the demon Barnes. Uh, I did. I wasn't surprised that Balthazar was using Sam and Dean as a distraction for Raphael so that he could help uh, Castiel get the weapons. I really love the brotherly bond between Castiel and Balthazar. I really wish Balthazar was in this a lot more. I always forget that he's just in this season. And yeah, I agree. Also, the woman who took over for Raphael just did not have the same. I only knew that guy from the unit, the, that television show, so that was my recognition to him. French Mistake is a great episode, and best of all, the humor still holds up. I have so many references to this episode with my Supernatural friends. I, we call bad actors, lock and key actors. If there's a key, there must be a lock. I've, always, I've also gotten so many alpaca-themed memes and GIFs. I, I'm wearing one of those gifts right now. Alpaca socks. There are so many great lines, far too many to mention in the comments. I always get a kick out of the scary man killed the attractive crying man. <laughs> Love this episode. All right, guys, thank you for your comments. Now we're moving on to uh, whatever boring episode we're going on to after this, but we'll see if it is actually. Maybe I might be wrong. Uh, and then there were none. Oh, the Mother's episode's coming. So give me guys' the thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. Until then, guys, if you like the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.